get a blue one. Right, we're on to the AX40 now, which is the Floyd, Rose and Maple Neck version of the Axis. Um, as Chappers has just found out whilst warming up here, the uh, Floyd on this is fitted uh, just like the uh, original Van Halen uh, one was, where there's no back lift on the Floyd at all. So no problems with your drop tuning or anything like that, because you're not going to find that the, the, the Floyd moves or anything like that. Yeah, it grounds to the body so you can do what you want with the tuning and it'll stay solid, which pretty is pretty, much. pretty cool. So you can still do your dive bombs, but you can't do your, your, your you know, pull-ups. And um, is that a phrase, pull-ups? It like is now, exercise. buddy. <laughs> what would you normally call that then? Your um, Pull-ups. Yep. So again, uh, locking that on here, which uh, we just realised in time to stop Chappers breaking Don't all the strings Don't tell them the that. <laughs> They're going to think I'm some rank amateur. And a different switch now. So unlike the 20, which had a five-way switch, the 40 just has a traditional three-way and a volume control. Yes. So I like this guitar. This is this is quality. <laughs> little time to get used to the thinner neck and uh, and then you really start to feel that the, the benefit of the more compact kind of size yeah um, I, I really like the uh, I really like the axis so it's a cool guitar again you can see it's taken a bit of use to get into the fact that the Floyd doesn't go backwards and things yeah. like that but uh, again this is a useful feature uh, so like we said this guitar retails for four four nine nine ninety nine four nine nine ninety nine ninety nine <laughs> uh, yeah, cool. So a little bit dearer than the orange one, but not a lot considering you get the extra Floyd, which is cool. Trans blue, nice binding. Uh, what's the body wood? Body again is just a base wood body. <laughs> Tonally speaking, do you find hair up or hair down? I, I find. Just generally, hair improves playing. Right. Is uh, it like Samson? It's it's something like that. Um, just for example, if the hair's out of my face, yeah, and I play a note, you hear that it's it's a weak yeah, kind of weak. warbling. And the vibrato's not so it's hot. It's not anything, is it? there, but no. if if I just bring back, you know, <laughs> immediately it's just a stronger. A stronger note. So if I grew my hair as long as you, would I be as good as you? you it also improves your look. You, people find you better looking when you've got this kind of mask of love there. Is it a mask of love? It's a mask of love. <laughs> Uh, that's like I've been imbued with some <laughs> Chappers magic dandruff. That's right. And I'll be better for Beard it. Rough. This is the John Petrucci um, version. Yep, John Petrucci of uh, Dream Theatre. I think it said Theatre of Dreams then, but it's not. <laughs> it's Dream Theatre. And um, this is, again, very similar kind of body shape to the, uh, the Steve Lukather. Beautiful purple metallic colour. Um, classic uh, four on one side, two on the other machine head. But a couple of things that are a bit different on this. It's got a, a different uh, trem system um, with a, a bigger cutout, so you can do some pullbacks. 
a couple of uh, different types of humbuckers uh, voiced for a slightly higher gain sound. Something that's really like a lovely little touch is the back of the neck by the velute. Uh, they've masked the neck so that the headstock is really nice and shiny and covered in lacquer, but the neck is perfectly bare wooded satin kind of yep. finish. It's a really nice little touch that. And whilst you're around that way, we've got some locking machine heads on here, which yeah. uh, you don't get on the, um, the other true. models. Um, so yeah, if you're, if you're a Dream Theatre fan, you like a bit of prog rock. Then you've got um, a problem. <laughs> uh, so uh, anyway, Rob's been learning some Dream Theatre for the last three or four weeks, and he says, I'm just going to rip through a couple of albums <laughs> worth of Petrucci stuff now. Then why not? Yeah, why Didn't not? I? Let's just do it. Um, yeah, it's a good idea. I'll do that. <laughs> That's one of the songs he didn't release <laughs> called Flight of the Crippled Death Wielding Bumblebee. It was wasn't that about 14 minutes long though normally. I played it really fast. You did play well, you condensed 14 minutes worth of dream theater into 20 seconds. 20. <laughs> true that this guitar is built specifically to play in a 7-5 time signature and only that? Uh, it's 16-3. Oh, 16-3. Yeah, 16-3. Yeah. But, um, yeah. but only, feature. yeah, only on a Sunday. John Petrucci is a ridiculously amazing guitarist. Uh, but if you want to see something really, really funny, just uh, YouTube, what is it, John Petrucci? Shreds. Shreds or... Yeah. And... I'll tell you what was really cool, is when I went to the NAM show, I witnessed the Clash of the Titans. I saw Dawn Petrucci sat Who? down. Dawn Petrucci? Dawn, John that's, his, that's his daughter. Chupa Chupu. Yeah. <laughs> we I saw a Chupa Chupu. <laughs> I saw John Petrucci uh, jamming and Zach Wilde walked past him and gave him a metal high five. And it was pretty cool. It was Imagine. a real moment of brotherhood. If you were slightly drunk and you had Chupa Chupu and Inga Bingi in the same room, how would you say their names? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chupa Chupu. Uh, look, it's Inga Bingi over there. <laughs> It's like, why have all great guitar players got ridiculous names? <laughs> Unless, except Zach Wilde, which is just Rob Chappers. Hmm? Rob Chappers. That's a normal name. Oh, that's very nice. Pretty cool. Yeah, and Rob Chappers. Sorry. Yeah. So um, <laughs> next week we're so, reviewing the Fender Inga Mingi. Can you tell we're tired? It's the end of the day, <laughs> shooting videos at Atherton's. Why that's a lovely looking bone now, isn't it? It's actually made of uh, John Cow. Petrucci's own thigh bone, is it? which he donated <laughs> to uh, Sterling. <laughs> To make a very limited edition number of, I think yeah. they got about two hundred and fifty. Kind of like the Steve Vai, um, yeah, approach to the paintwork with the the drop of his own blood. Yes, um, although this was more of a drop. I think there's about uh, three quarters of a pint of John Petrucci's own blood goes into each model. Dried on the external of this mm. beautiful looking guitar. Now yeah. I've been lucky enough to play the uber expensive model uh, version of this, and it was better. <laughs> <laughs> but only only in proportion to the amount of money you've just spent on that particular model this is also very very good this is 579 pounds and what was the uh what seven was the... million seven no seriously though how much was that uh i have no it's, recollection it's, it's, i sold it's one recently two no it's about two and a half thousand quid two and a half thousand so i think in fairness you know this is a you know yet again just goes to show what great value can be achieved if you uh, build the guitars in the right factory yes in um, indonesia by the way indonesia these are made yep uh so there we go here's um a really awesome chromatic blues style john petrucci shred for you <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
pretty good, this Chupa Chupa guitar. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> wasn't, that, wasn't that Chief Chirper? Wasn't he an Ewok? <laughs> Chief Chirper was an Ewok from, from one of the Holy Trinity films. The, the third of the Holy the Trinity. The third of the Holy Trinity. Yeah. When the little baby bears get shot in the forest. It's like the part of... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the part of Watership Down. Oh, what, where... Becomes a sun. Bandy gets shot or something. That's in turn into glue. <laughs> yeah. Tune in for another exciting instalment of Chappers and Lee. At Anderton's. Over here. By the way, if you'd like to have your video <laughs> on the screen of doom behind us, uh, why don't you just ask us and then maybe we'll pick your video, rip it from YouTube and put it behind us. These guitars are brilliant. Buy them from anderton's.co.uk and we'll see you very soon. Wait a minute, haven't you got a competition to do? Yes, that's in the next video. Okay, bye! <laughs> bye! <laughs> <laughs>